So, good morning. Welcome back to Lightwave Guru. Another barely used function in Lightwave or underrated function is the Lightwave particle system and the wind fields and the gravity fields and all things like that about the um, um, particle system in Lightwave. And you can also link the particle system with a Lightwave instancer. And then what you see is what you get. So what we see here in that case. So we see a particle system is linked with a light wave instancer with a primitive object. And the particle system uh, put out the particles. Then I have here a donut field. And the donut field has the function to uh, say the particle system, okay, I work only in that area here. Then we have a, se uh, a second uh, function. The name is vortex, uh, no, rotary epsilon. And that means that all particles that comes out from the particle system go in that way, yes, around that. Then we have uh, uh, four spheres as with the function uh, collision. You can see it not in the moment. It comes later back in the animation. Here, that's that for stick uh, spheres with a function stick. And uh, that uh, four objects create that form here. Yeah, That means if the particle come in that area from that ball, we would be uh, stopped and stick on that sphere. And if I animate that sphere in or out, in that animation, it comes and goes, yeah? And with that principle, you can create really funny motion graphics if you need, or something other stuff, yeah? Only your fantasy is a border. And uh, I would show the next time uh, some things like that. And the reason is I, you take a look to uh, YouTube and to the Lightwave channels and I found yeah, no examples what you can do in that case. Yeah, that's very funny. And if you um, use it in combination with uh, Octane, you can uh, yeah, render fast, funny uh, things, including motion blur and all that, yeah. So, so that's my first example. I you have seen it now, and I let it render now, and then we take a look later. It looks like yeah. So what I can do now is to explain a little bit the scene. So we have here in the middle that particle system. And we go now to the particle system and I show it here. Yeah, that's the FX emitter with this burst rate. And we have here also that vortex one, that field, and that field is a wind field, and that wind field, for example, is a donut, yeah. And that donut here, you see it here, that, that big thing, he press the particles in that form yeah so if you go a little bit forward you see that the particle would press in that form the end here with the particles end is simple the lifetime from the particle and a second function also with the name fx wind wind and his uh, it's an explosion and the explosion comes from top and press also the particle in the in the round form here yeah so on that four sticks here i go in one from there so i parented on the master null in the middle and we have four from that and uh, this has the function collision and the type is sphere that's the reason that is round here and we have here the mode stick, yeah? That means if the particle 
see the sphere and it comes in the radius from that sphere which would be stick with a bounce bind power from 100 and the other functions like the epsilon rotation and so move them the particle around that function yeah for example if we now go to the vortex field not to the donor to the second here to that field here it's not vortex it's also not explosion here rotary so that wind field I, I call it vortex but it means rotary and epsilon you know here and I take it off you would see that the particle go then another way you go then that way yeah, and the simple reason is if the rotary function is off then the particle goes straight his way out from the particle system and his target is uh, here that form yeah so and if I and if you then animate it you become then another form yeah that means if I now activate one more time the rotary field all particles go also on his way on rotation and then he change his form and makes a yin and yang like symbol thing yeah and goes uh, goes out there so and things like that you create with your fantasy and you must have a little bit of abstraction uh, abstraction level about that what you would create and uh, Imagine what the particle system do if you uh, take in place, for example, that animated uh, collision objects, yeah, with the classic um, particle system options. But in combination with the uh, um, instancer, it brings much fun, and you can create so abstract forms, yeah, all kind of types. That's only here one example, yeah, and. Um, that's very interesting also for yeah abstract things for motion graphics also so enough talking i rendered now out and showed later bye bye have a nice day